Hey guys, just a little bit of a sale. Um, I'm selling these V4, this V4 Mac. Has a neck guard built in. It's built in there. Oh. You can actually snap it down. And you can have an extra, for all the cautious parents out there, you can have an extra long neck guard so you can protect some of the collarbone, believe it or not. Snap back in, as so, like so. Folds up if you don't want it. Anyways, they come with a visor, and if you don't want the visor, well, you get it anyways. But it has this forehead protector, so you don't need a bandana or a headband or sandana. It'd still be better if you had one, but uh, the lens, I don't know, let me see if I can find. Yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit, it's definitely dirty. A lot of fingerprints and, um, what do you call it? Scratches. Uh, yeah, at the end of this video, I'll just, for before you buy it, I'll just show you how to take the lens out of this mask. Anyway, so that's the first thing I'm selling. The other thing is my old Revy. Yes, it works. Hold on. So you pretty much get it. Hold on. Hold on, let me see if I can show you a really cool thing about this hopper. Let's grab the gun. Let's just make sure you can see. Okay. Push the button. Turn on the gun first, actually. Turn the safety off. Push the button. Sorry I'm going so slow, it's one hand. So it's kind of like the magnet, oh there we go, some good lighting there. Kind of like the magnet with the RF chip in a way. Um, let me see if I can get some really cool speed in this. Oh, let me put it on full auto. There we go, full auto. As right, you can see, it doesn't die out. I had a little bit of a hesitation at first, just to get the balls out of the feed neck. And then see like two set like one second hesitation. So it's not bad. It's a good hopper. Reason I'm selling it is because I obviously do not use it. And once again, I do not use it. So I have two hoppers that are better than that. Two four speeds. Um If you wait a while, it stops working, so you always have to be shooting in a way. Yeah, I think you have about 30 seconds to shoot. After this sound sensor is so sensitive, hold on, push the button once. Hold on. Push again. Hold on. I had 
the speed feed there on this, just my homemade ones. Uh, the lid came with two magnets like every other Empire motor. There's only one magnet on this, the one thing broken off. But still, the lid is magnet shut. Tough to get open. Well, not tough, but. As you can see, hold on, let me see if I can get this. Okay, just best swinging. Or even. See? Magnet shut. Doesn't open. Okay, now let me see if I can get some paint through this to show a drop test. Okay, guys. Uh, just a little bit of a confession here. Well, not confession. This thing does suck for uh, drop tests. Put on gun, it works perfectly fine. Oh yeah, uh, okay, so let's just show how well the lid works. I guess. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, I've never done this before, so I hope it works. So the lid holds that, that whole pot of paint. See, it's all fine. And at first, there will be some balls in the feed nap. See? That's what it's called, the feed nap. Open it up. Close it. See, it's all fine now. Okay, here's the pod. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, I had a problem there. Okay, I got it off there. Okay. See? Ready? See? So when it stops, whenever I stop. Yeah, you kind of get the point. It sucks the drop test. Anyways, it doesn't suck at all. It's just the drop test part. So if you want it, you can have it for uh, I don't know how much. Uh, all right, so far I have two offers on it from my last video. I had one person offer me like 40 shipped, and some of just laid and all that, and because it's I'm in Canada, and it's so expensive up here, and it's hard to ship. Uh, let's see. And then I have a friend offer me $38 right here. Like, offer it. He gave it to me. He'll give it to me next time we our next practice for my team. Uh, so if you want to make an offer higher than that or an offer, just make an offer. Hey guys, here's the V Force. More details on it. Okay, the vision of the E Force. Oh, well, you can see. Oh. Get the camera inside the goggles. Like I said, the scratches. Uh, you can see them from the inside here. So once you replace the lens, it'll be perfectly clear. See, everything's fine pretty much except for the scratches and smudge. Uh, okay, yeah. Camera. Right. The ears, they're hard ears. They're like the vents, not events. Events are soft ears. I have custom ones. They like the hardier vents, or uh, what other ones have hard ears? I don't know. Different Mac. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess I'll take the lens out now. Okay. Let's just make sure you can see, because, you know, my camera. Okay, perfect. Good enough. Okay. Take the strap out. Snap it up. Like so, so you snap up. And I'll show you on this side. Get the strap out of the loops. Like so. Grab this little black thing right here. 
and snap up and pull and take the lens go to the green thing sorry my mistake uh, right here the tab I don't know if you can see it, the tab on the lens push that down the lens comes right out just like that so what you have left